What's going on, my fellow nerds? Android 12L is something I've already talked about on this channel a couple of times because it purports to bring some real changes, optimizations, and improvements to Android devices with large screens. Of course, Surface Duo 2 and Surface Duo, which are the primary concerns of this channel, do qualify as far as Android cares as a couple of tablets. So Android 12L is meant to bring a lot of really solid improvements to those large screen devices like Duo, like your Z Folds and things like that as well. Basically, a lot of the great changes that Samsung and Microsoft have made to Android to accommodate tablets and dual screen devices will be rolled into Android proper with Android 12L. But there's a lot more to 12L than just that and luckily enough right now if you go to google.com slash android slash beta you can click on view your eligible devices and if you have one of these devices which i happen to have a pixel 5 here in my hand you can go ahead and install a beta version of android 12l now of course this is not a large screen device this is a very small screen device especially compared to you know tablets and things of that nature so we're not going to get to see a ton of that kind of stuff going on but what we will see are a few nice changes what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to show you some of the coolest changes in android 12L. So one of the first things you're going to see here is actually on the lock screen. If you look up here in this corner, there's a little icon there to switch users. Now, it doesn't seem to do anything on the Pixel, but I've seen from other people's reports that if you change the DPI here in developer mode, apparently it will give you a little breakdown where you can switch between different users that are logged in, which is something kind of like what you can do on Windows or a more proper like, like a PC. One of the first things I noticed though is when you long press on your home screen, you get this new pop-up here to change your wallpaper and so forth. And it works about how you would expect. You simply can select a new wallpaper. It will apply. And of course, as you can see, some of these other things are changing colors because part of Android 12 before, still here, where it's going to pull natural colors from your wallpaper to change these system colors. Uh, to, to kind of match that. So you can see they've pulled this kind of a, a taupe kind of tan color out of this background here. That is pretty cool. Something else you'll notice right away is that there are a ton of uh, really nice haptics. Now this is a pixel, so the haptics are really good, but pretty much everything I do is accompanied by this nice satisfying little rumble. When I swipe up to get my apps, there's some haptics. If I swipe and go into my multitasking, as I go from app to app, there's an even smaller little rumble there to tell me that I'm moving between open apps and it feels really good. It feels very deliberate. Still in this multitasking view, there is a, a bit of a change to the clear all button now. Instead of just being text, it's an actual button. So it's much easier to actually hit to clear those apps out. Pretty much all the animations in 12L just look and feel so fluid and nice pulling down your notifications. Just look how smooth all of this looks. And on a 90 hertz display like this, it, I, it's really difficult to, to, to really explain to you just how smooth and nice everything feels. There's a ton of attention to detail here when it comes to all of these animations. Now, something that you're not going to see here with the uh, notifications and the quick settings here is the fact that on uh, Android 12L on a larger device, you're actually gonna have your quick settings and so forth here, and then your notifications next to it. So it's gonna be basically a dual pane set up there for your notifications and your quick settings. Again, if you play with your DPI, you can actually get that to kind of work when you rotate uh, here on the Pixel 6. Now, obviously there's nothing all that crazy in the beta that's on the Pixel now, but I think it's worth pointing out here, some of the things that are coming to stock Android with 12L going forward. So we mentioned the dual pane notification shade. That's something that could be pretty useful and pretty cool, especially on devices like Z Folds and things like that. On Duo, I'm not sure would you want to have, you know, both screens being ob obscured by the notification shade. Maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. What about a proper multitasking setup? Now, this is something that we have on the Z Fold line that Samsung has already made, but how about a built-in taskbar where you can drag an app up, as you see there, to automatically split window this thing. Again, this is something Samsung has done, but it's being rolled into Android proper. We don't have that here yet because this is just a phone. The screen's not big enough to be able to take advantage of that. Even if you change the DPI, it's not in there yet, but it is coming. 
apps that don't have the ability to properly scale on a large screen looking at you instagram well how about some proper compatibility there to just basically just make it work you're going to get bars on the side but the app's going to function properly now in a way that's usable still doesn't look great instagram update your stuff but still it'll be usable and then there's an absolute metric ton of behind the scenes stuff like what we're talking about here with the customizations that samsung and microsoft have made for their devices being rolled into the actual OS itself. Like right now on Duo, the actual Microsoft launcher is doing so much heavy lifting in terms of, of making apps default to split window. Well, now it may be possible on Android 12L that that launcher might not have to do that lifting anymore. The actual OS can do it itself. Will things perform better because of that? Maybe, possibly. But at any rate, guys, that's pretty much all I've got for you today on Android 12L. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff does help out tremendously. I will see you on the next video. And until then, stay nerdy, my friend.